Hello everyone, it's Jen from Old Tinker Studio. In this tutorial, we will be making a stylized obelisk. Scale the default cube, which is going to be our stone base, to the desired size. Tab into edit mode and add multiple horizontal and vertical edge loops. Select all the edge loops and add a bevel with two segments. You can do this by simply using your scroll wheel and scrolling up once. Now select the center edge loops of the bevel and scale them along the z-axis towards the center of the stone base. This will form what will look like separate blocks. Tap back into object mode and apply the scale with control A. This is to prevent any problems with various tools or modifiers. Add a cube, which is going to be our obelisk, and move the cube so it is sitting on the stone base. Then tab into edit mode, and select the top face of the cube and move it up along the z-axis to the desired height. Now extrude the top face of the cube to the desired height for the pyramid shape at the top of the obelisk. Then using vertex select, Merge the topmost vertices in the center using Alt M. Now add multiple horizontal loop cuts to the lower part of the cube. Then using Edge Select, select each of the edge loops. and add a single bevel to each edge loop. Notice that when you added the bevel, that Blender remembers that you had two cuts in the last bevel. Select the center loop cuts and scale them along the X and Y axes. Tab back into object mode and apply the scale. Now we're going to do a little bit of sculpting. So hide your obelisk and select your stone base. If you're new to sculpting in Blender, I do have a beginner sculpting tutorial on this channel. Under the sculpting workspace, go into wireframe mode 
And this is so we can see the density of the mesh. I would highly recommend saving your model before remeshing in case Blender crashes. Open the Remesh drop-down menu and change the voxel size to a lower number to increase the mesh density. This will depend on how powerful your computer is. Then click on the Remesh button. Now go back into solid mode. Then under the shading drop down menu, choose a matte cap. For simplicity, you can choose to mirror across the various axes. This option can be found under the symmetry section or at the top of the 3D viewport. Use the various brushes available to sculpt a stone base for the obelisk. Now here's a hint for everybody. You can change the stroke method under the stroke drop down menu. For example, if you want straight lines, change your stroke method to line. Then when you choose a spot, you click on it, hold down your shift key, click on another spot, and then release, and you'll have a straight line. So experiment with the different stroke methods and the different brushes. When you're done, under the UV Editing Workspace, tab into Edit Mode, select the entire mesh, and unwrap it using the Smart UV Project. Then export your UV. Now we're going to sculpt the obelisk. Hide your stone base and unhide and select the obelisk. Then under your sculpting workspace, go into wireframe mode so we can see the density of the mesh. Open the remesh drop-down menu and change the voxel size to a lower number to increase the mesh density. Then click on the remesh button. Go back into solid mode. And if you don't have the matte cap, you can go under the shading drop down menu to choose a matte cap. and use the various brushes available to sculpt the obelisk. And when you are done, under the UV Editing Workspace, make sure you're in Edit Mode. Select the entire mesh and unwrap it using Smart UV Project. Then export your UV map. Now unhide your stone base. Under the Shading Workspace, select the Stone Base and add a base color.
and change the roughness to 1. Now select the obelisk, add a new material, and add a base color. and change the roughness to 1. Let's set up a simple 3-point lighting setup. Select the light and change it to a spot lamp. Move it to the back of the meshes. This is our backlight, so we'll change the power to 2000. Duplicate the backlight and move it to the front of the meshes and rotate it. This is our fill light, so we'll change the power to 2500. Duplicate the fill light and move it to the left and rotate it. And this is our key light, so we'll change the power to 3000. Now back under the modeling workspace, deselect everything. Hit N to bring up your panel, and under View, check Lock Camera to View, then hit N to close it. Choose 0 on your numpad to go into Camera View, and then move and rotate the models to achieve the desired look. Under the Render tab, twirl open the Film section and choose Transparent for a transparent background. Save your file. Then under the Render drop-down menu, choose Render Image. There you have a simple stylized obelisk. I hope you found this useful. Have a good day.